education is central to everything. It is so important for young people and their future. I didn't have a career plan when I was studying, I just knew I wanted to be a teacher and I really saw my contribution to being in the country. I learnt a lot when I was at university. I think I had all the tools of the trade that I needed, but what happened at Marble Bar when I was a graduate is I learnt how to apply them. The kids didn't have a background in learning, came from you know, great disadvantage, and so I had to know and learn how to really teach. But it also shaped me as an individual and took really for me into the rest of my career a very strong sense of social justice, of understanding my privilege and understanding the disadvantage of others and how I wanted to be part of the help. I decided to go back and study a Master's in Education Policy and Administration because I'm an eternal inquirer. And so I wanted to go back and learn why do we make the decisions we make about methodology, about how to approach education right through the spectrum. I was appointed the youngest Director General in 2007, the Director General of Education. And that was equal parts thrilling and frightening. So I was able to bring all of that learning from ECU, all of my life's experience as a teacher, into leading a really important department and I loved it. The Public Sector Commissioner is a very important role across government. It provides leadership across all government departments. And when you think about all of the services that are provided to Western Australians and vulnerable Western Australians, you understand the magnitude of the role. To be able to sit in a position of leadership and to hold a standard of excellence in those services is really important role and I'm proud to be doing it. COVID really threw us a curveball. I was the state recovery controller. They were talking at the time about you know, depression, huge economic impact, tens of thousands of people losing uh, their lives. And I was responsible for the $5 billion recovery plan that saw the economy of Western Australia stand fast during that time. I'm really proud to have been a contributor to that, but I think Western Australians themselves should be the proudest of that whole period. The School of Education at ECU really prides itself in developing and delivering courses that help our students develop creative and critical thinking skills. It taught us to learn how to learn, which you can then apply to any field that you go in. And we know these days people change jobs you know, often. So having the capacity to think critically through problems, uh, to work through and be resilient in that working out different options and places to go and learn. I, I think that's one of the biggest things that ECU um, offered me. Sharon is a brilliant example of how far a teaching degree can take you and how much value this profession can have to society. I'm really proud to be part of the ECU alumni community. It's special. It's such a privilege to be able to go to a university learn and grow, and we know the power of education. Education changes people's lives, whether it's children at school or young people and adults learning. And I'm really proud to be part of that. I think it's a special privilege and something that I'll always cherish.